Welcome back to part two for Joy Toys Crazy Reload SUV. In part two, we're going to take a look at the truck, the base that comes straight out of the box without any of the components, you know, assembled. We're going to look at the quality, the features, the paint, and its, you know, functionality. And then after that, we're going to dig out the pieces that we need to build up the uh, Crazy Reload SUV. So let's get started. So here is our base model. As you can see. As you can see, there's lots of slots there you know, to build up the, uh, the back half of the uh, Crazy Reload. So we're going to start in the front. So first off, I kind of noticed uh, this is actually a harder plastic than you would expect. So that's kind of scary. Now why is that scary? Harder the plastic, more brittle it is. It just feels like it's going to break in my hands. It's not a soft plastic. This is very stiff plastic. And to me, it almost scares me a little bit too. It's like almost brittle. Um, so we'll get into uh, the actual areas that I feel that may be a, some worry spots for breakage. So here's the front of this SUV here. So let's get with nice up close in images of the front end. It looks mean. So here we have clear lights on both sides. There's actually lenses. We have lenses here and here. We have a radiator radiator here. Um, down here we have some some lights. I'm assuming that's what they're going for. Here on the bumper we have these hooks. There is they're painted yellow and there is a separation here too where you could possibly remove them or add to you know maybe pull something. But it, these feel thin. Separating these enough to get past this thick piece here <laughs> may eventually cause a breakage in these things if you keep removing them. Um, here on the front we have yellow hooks here. You can see those. One here, one here. And I'll tell you what, when I touch them, they move. Like the whole body don't move. The hook piece here moves. So if you're going to go pulling something on heavy or being rough with this, these are going to break. Here in the center, we have almost like a, a winch, but it's not a functional winch. It's just a molded winch. There's no hook or nothing. It's just, it's actually a little bit hollow on the other side. Let's see if we can get an image of that. There. I brought a flashlight to attempt to help see these darker spots. So that is your front bumper there. Now your tires are pretty sweet. They are actually a rubber day or you can push in on them. It's kind of interesting about these. The, the nubbies come up past the tire and they, they go down into the tire to meet as a flat surface. So they're actually up higher than the tire here and they start going down into the tire and back up on the other side here to create a big mud dog tire. Like so they are a harder rubber but they are rubber. They are black with a black dirt wash, silver rims, black hubcaps with also with the dirt paint on the tires. All the tires are roughly the same tire but I did notice for example on this tire has a different paint of the dirt. See there's more dirt on the hubcap than there is there. And so there's more dirt on the on the nubbies versus those. So let's turn this thing around. Let's see what the other four tires look like. As you can see here, 
a little less dirt and this back there has you know more dirt so so here's the hood it has actually a bar here that you can you know grab a hold over the figure but also use caution on these thin parts top of the hood some vents here round vents here vents on that side we have some white paint here some nice molded detail here steam looks incredible for a mold purposes over here we have a yellow light we have that same bar here also and we have a yellow light here now the hood does raise up which is great but it raises up only so far and this design here kind of hits the bumper here and stops it so you don't get a, a large raise out of it as you can see and I've heard a lot of rumors that people might take that bumper off to actually move the hood higher don't recommend that because as you can see this piece here is a bumper and there's no really safe way to take it off without risking any breakage so don't recommend that but again it's your toy see do with it as you see fit but I'm just want to take a really detailed look at this and see the precautions for breakage and quality and etc so inside the hood here as you can see we have some silver paint here here we do have that i sort of think it's like a distributor cap or whatever but here we down here we have the battery and we have some red wires down inside there you can see that there's a sticker it says warning danger on it It is a nice feature for a display if you have you guys mechanics working on your SUV. And it sits up and down pretty good, no problem. Kind of feels like it wants to catch on something, but it just works out perfectly. Here we have some pieces for an additional um, that goes into um, for we assemble assemble holes here. So, the windshield. The windshield makes you think it's removable, but it's not. One thing I do want to point out is it is a clear window. And these um, wind, wind, uh, window wipers here are actually not molded to the actual glass. You can actually pick those things up. Let me get something here. So we can take a look at... Um, see how this things move that seems so brittle as you can see I can pick those up those are definitely this one seems to be off the glass more than that one does on my unit but I'd watch those very carefully those can get caught on like your shirt or something and you just they're gonna break I guarantee they're gonna break so moving on down the side here on the frame here we have the word punishment okay let's go cool. on the door we have a zero eight painted and down here we have a step painted almost like a grate with some rusty wash coloring coloring there so you can see down towards the bottom we have that metal worn wash paint they're going for there see around the let's see if i can hold this thing up see like around here we have the rusted bolts throughout the back on the lower bottom of the truck so the door they both open on both sides and what's nice about that look how far they open you're talking like perfect 90 degree opening so 
So we take a look at the other side. As you can see, they open really, really nice. So I guess we'll stay here for a second. So they do have a window in the door here, but this door has a feature. It has a pull down ramp to where you can place a figure on the ramp itself. And you do have a really nice detailed graded look. Looks awesome. So let's spin this guy around to this side, not mine. It's not scary me to do this, but I noticed. I try to find out what's going on with this, but I don't know. I can start pulling it down, and I hear a click. And it comes down fine. And upon my inspection, I do not see anything catching. It's just basically two pay holes in these corner pockets here. And we are actually... So, I'm still trying to investigate that. So, I'm tempted to use this flashlight so you can see the interior of this thing. See so down at the bottom here, you can see some gas and brake pedals and maybe a clutch. In here, we have a dash. And then we have a place for you to put the stone wheel. And on the other side there, we have, you know, basically your free glove box, but it will have some other decals that stick in there. For much like a computer screen. Then as you can see, we have two seats that are tan. They do actually do match the four seats that go into the back for unison. Then we have a diamond plated design there in the middle. You possibly could lay a weapon or something on a box, a small box. So we are going to attempt to shut this and hopefully I don't have a heart attack. Oh, that's scary. So, it's really unique on how, because we shut that off, this one just goes up perfectly. So, and as you can see, there is a plenty of space in there. Clearly, they could get any 118 scale figure in there. You know, we can even win with a backpack, probably. It looks really good. So, on the top of this, it actually in the box has a piece that goes this piece there's a top plate for that it is removable as you can see and it just simply sits on top like so it has some very nice weathering So starting down towards the bed of the truck, we have a we have a decal here, and it does. I'm saying a closer that thing. It says warning danger. Also, just like the sticker under the hood. Here we have a little section where we can place a watering can or any other maybe gas can if you have those. But this comes with a watering can. Here we have the wheel rail one there. You can see we have many slots here to we build up the back. And there's actually two slots right in this hole there, if you can see those. They're right, one right there, one right there. And the other side is pretty much unison to the other side. On the back of the truck, we have two red lights. The tailgate does not go down, which is okay, but that would have been cool if it did. Then we have two yellow translucent tail lights. And then we have this hook piece. This hook piece, to me, is, looks so fragile. The, the hardness of this plastic. Watch this for a second. Look at that. I'm very appreciative. And as you can see, it's only held on by two little pieces there, two little joints. 
So what ends up happening with this vehicle is when you go to pick it up, you, you know, normally go underneath the front bumper and then you want to do this because it's, it's the first thing your hand touches. And you see that flex. And I'm betting with, you know, this thing's fully assembled and fully loaded with six fig plus figures and accessories that may break over time. So if you're going to pick this up, I would recommend you get under the bottom here and make sure your fingers get at least into here and then pick up your SUV like that. Speaking of the bottom, let's take a look at the bottom. This is super wet. This is the front. This is super weathered. It does have some really good red shark paint there if you can see that we have that wash that they put on this thing it, it looks like it's been it looks like it just looks like oil extra light is probably making it worse so as you can see here we have our red shocks on both sides So that's cool. Uh, do not function. There is no, um, you can't push up and down on it. I wouldn't recommend doing that. So we have our axles here. We have a nice paint wash here. And the rear of the SUV has pretty much the same shocks. There's two shocks per, per wheel. There's one here. One right here. It's a pretty wild paint scheme there. If you look at, I mean, look up in here, look up in here, right here, down there. And the wheels looks to be attached. These are square um, axles on the end, and that's like they probably just pushed in on a peg, is my best guess. I am not going to attempt to remove it um, because of it's going to break. Okay, so that's pretty much an overall view of the SUV. Not for quality of materials, it feels fragile. It feels like a model to me. Um, things this price is very pricey. So you're talking anywhere from a hundred. 20 to 180 bucks depending where you get it from plus shipping and tax if that applies to you um, so I'd be careful with the points I, I pointed out um, and also I want to say it now because I'll probably forget later When you're going to assemble the back of this thing, I recommend you hold this up. Hold it in your hand. Because you don't push down on the back of the bed of the truck. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like you're going to break something. Especially if you're trying to push these tabs in. It can get pretty uh, good amount of force when you're trying to uh, assemble. So I'd stay away from that. Hold it up. Push your pieces in. Some, something else for you guys to remember even like up here with this um you know i would definitely be careful trying to push on that too much especially if you're removing it to put figures in or just for visibility okay so it does come with some labels as you can see here there are labels for the dash for your now that's going to be a little tricky to get those in there in a nice straight position here and here i will have the labels on in part three of the video and i'll sh give you an idea how i did it but i want to make sure i get them in there nice and straight because they're actually inside here and you kind of get them in there and then getting them down in those grooves is going to be quite difficult so so the instructions itself says there's 26 pieces Showed here 
there I know there is one piece that is not on here and I did a video for that it is a mystery piece and I'll show you where that goes here when we do the assembly so in case there's a third trifle here then we have this center piece that shows the SUV and here is a little bio for it so if you want to pause now and read that there you go okay moving on page three Shows you some of the assess, um, assembly there. On the back, we have the parent. There is the watering cans. And here is the wire diagram for the SUV. And the back for the spare tire. Some of the accessories on the side and the door. But we'll do assembly in another video. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is trying to find all 26 parts. And here we go. So here's our styrofoam pieces. So we're going to take, get this. We'll get them all out and maybe we'll take a look at them if we have enough time. We have a, another uh, minigun. the spare tire we have the top turn piece we have the two spotlights in the middle okay it's in all four sides here We have the seats, so I don't want to attempt to get those out of there. I want to damage the box so that I can keep it. Maybe I'm not sure if we're gonna take it back apart, put it back in the box. What we're gonna do, but as of right now, we're gonna assemble it so I don't damage the thing. So there's your four chairs up top here. Side piece, bottom of side piece. Here we have a box, a notch box, and here we have a basket. And here we have a basket, that mystery piece, and the stern wheel. So, looks like we have a watering can. Oh boy, that's way down in there. I'm going to have to take that out of here so I can get a better grip on it. Shut the slide off. So we have a watering can. So we have that watering can out of there. Check this. And then here we have a mirror. We have a top piece for the truck. Here we have another top piece. Here we have a mirror. And I'll grab these two pieces real quick here on the end. These are the doors. And right here is another can. What's this? Here we go. Another part there. And that's stuck way down in there, so I'm gonna have to take it back here so I can get down in there and get it. It's much easier. Oops, let's throw it. So from what I can tell here, I have all the pieces. So we're gonna set that aside. Let's take a look at the pieces quickly here. So we have our two side panels. Very nice paint. You can see there's actually different weathering there on each door. The back side. So that gives us two pieces there. We have two of these boxes. 
Unfortunately, they're not open boxes. They're actually just hollow on the inside, which could have been a better feature. So you could put small weapons in them. Then we have these two baskets that go on the side of the truck. Then we have two watering cans. That should do see water on them. Both sides are pretty much the same. Then we have four seats. Here's two seats. It looks like they just pig into the bottom. So there's actually two of the seats there. Here's two more seats here. They definitely painted yellow with a dirty wash on them. They definitely show different wear and throughout. Here we have a top piece for the cage. With some lights there on top, it's painted yellow. We have the other top piece of the cage. It's gray with lights on the front there. We have a side piece here with a nice decal there. Gray and a yellow piece. Here is the other side of that, the other top piece of that. And we have this piece, which might be, I'm not sure what that is. We'll find out when we put it together. Then we have a mirror that she has clear glass in it. Here is the other mirror. Very nice. Here we have that mystery piece. This mystery piece is actually a part that holds up the hood so it doesn't fall down on you. Here we have a steering wheel. Very nice. Here we have the turret. It does have a hatch that opens. Very nice paint there. Silver. Some silver here or some paint. Looks like it's rusted on the vents there. Nice opens up and closes. Very, very cool. We have a decal hole on the front. We have the two mini guns that are done in silver and a gray. It's very, very cool. And here we have a two spotlights. So gray with a white dirty wash on the outside. And then we have a spare tire. Spare tire is just like the other tires. It does have some mud on it, not too much. And then we have the bracket for the back. So we have all of our pieces. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe so you can get the remaining parts of this mini series and the other reviews I do. Uh, if you have already subscribed, thank you so much. And we will see you in part three of the Crazy Reload review. Thanks for watching.